Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight, we're going to be talking about Doja Cat responding yet again. Now, yesterday, she came forward and she did somewhat of a PR damage control apology. I talked about it in another video, but I'm going to go over her apology yet again here. And then she also went live. So I'm going to react to her live video of her apologizing, and we're just going to get into it. If you guys have been living under a rock, then you probably are not aware that Doja Cat has been going or coming under fire because of some of the behaviors that she's had. People are not pleased with a song that she did called Didn't Do Nothing. I break that down in my previous video. People were mad because she were she was in chat rooms and she was, you know, rolling around in the bed and she was doing what appeared to be some type of race play. People were also upset because she made comments about her hair texture, that she was unpleased with her hair, as many biracial and black women have done since I've known. But, you know, people had a big problem about that. Um, people had a lot of issues about different little things. And so besides, you know, her apology that she came up with with her PR, she was like, listen, y'all know that that wasn't me. Y'all know that that's not what I say. Let me just talk and let me just say it out of my own mouth. And so that's what she did. I haven't watched all of it. I've seen kind of like clips, but I tried to see like clips on the shade room. And then when I looked in the shade room, they kept cutting off like on certain points. And I'm like, why do they keep cutting off the video right here? Like, let me just look for it and let me just react to it because I'm like, this can't be all of it. So anyways, um, so that's what I'm gonna do here. So first, let's read her apology that she had written up with her in her PR. So it says, I want to address what's been happening on Twitter. I've used public chat rooms to socialize since I was a child. I shouldn't have been on some of those chat room sites, but I personally have never been involved in any racist conversations. I'm sorry to everyone that I offended. So I'm going to stop there. I've seen a few people make videos and they were like, oh my God, she was in these chats and she was a child and she was young and blah, 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 blah. I don't know about y'all, but I grew up in the MySpace era. Before MySpace, there was Black Planet. And before Black Planet, there was chat rooms. Um, when I was on Twitter, there was the chat rooms. And what she said about being on there since she was young, I feel like most of us have been on there that are a certain age. Like if you are in your late 20s or your 30s, you probably been in chat rooms and you probably been a part of the AIM. You know, you probably been a part of all of those things. And it's all kind of various of people who are in these chat rooms. I'm not making an excuse for her. I just don't like when people act like it's so bizarre. Like, oh my God, it's so bizarre that she was in a chat room. And I'm just like, I don't be in chat rooms now, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I ain't never been on no chat room. Like that never was a thing. Like, I'm like, okay, so carry on. So, you know, she addressed the chat room part. Now, people were saying that it's a white supremacist chat room. I couldn't find where it was a white supremacist chat room because I seen that there were other black people in the chat. So I'm like, if it's white supremacist and it's like all this stuff, like why are black people involved in the conversation? So that part I really didn't understand. So anyway, so her next point, she says, I'm a black woman. Half my family is black from South Africa, and I'm very proud of where I come from. Now, this part, as I stated in my on my last video, I'm like, girl, don't do that because you don't know them people. You don't know these people from South Africa. You have no connection to them. You don't know your father. You never met him. So don't try to play this I'm a black woman role because of this situation when you've never been loud and proud about being black and you clearly always say about how you're not connected to these people. So don't try to use that in this moment. Like that is whack. And I said that in my last video. So now going forward, it says, as for the old song that's resurfaced, it was in no way tied to anything outside of my own personal experience. It was written in response to people who often use the term meaning, but recognize that it was, wait, wait. It was written in response to people who often use that term to hurt me. I made it an attempt to flip its meaning, but recognize that it was a bad decision to use the term in my music. Now, I talked about the song in my last video. Half of the shit that she said, I didn't even understand it. I'm not even going to pretend to understand it. And it didn't seem like it related in any way to Sandra Bland, as people were trying to say. 
Um, I couldn't see the correlation, and I'm not going to just sit here and fake the funk like most all these other YouTubers and act like they understand some shit that is like, that it really don't really say, you know? I'm not going to do that. So anyways, so then she says, I understand my influence and impact, and I'm taking this all in very seriously. I love you all, and I'm sorry for upsetting or hurting any of you. That's not my character, and I'm determined to show that to everybody moving forward. Thank you. So this response was a clear cookie cutter, damage control, PR. Let's, you know, let's prove to the people that you're actually for the people. Let's prove to the people that you're actually one of them. And it's like, sis is not one of us. She don't fuck with black people like that. And that's okay. I don't feel like it's wrong for her to be more on her white side when she was raised by white people. I don't feel no type of way about that. Like, I don't feel like she has to choose the black side. Like, she has to identify more with us. There are plenty of biracial women who do not connect with the struggles that we go through. They cannot connect with how we grew up because we didn't grow up the same. We grew up with, you know, parents who was cooking, you know, soul food, dinners, rice, and um not rice um collard greens mac and cheese you know ham hocks she probably ain't even never heard of pig you know she don't even know probably what pig feet taste like she can't relate you know what i'm saying she can't really relate and i can't be mad at her because she can't relate her mom not to even be on no type of stuff but she probably you know the dishes that her mom was making the upbringing the conversations that they were having is not the conversations and the experiences that a black household had. And so I'm not going to be mad at her for that, number one. However, I don't appreciate her to try, or her team, to try to use this moment to be like, no, well, wait, she's black and she's like, like, don't do that. Don't do that. And I said that in my last video. So anyways, fast forward from that. She came forward and she did a live video where she was, kind of trying to debunk different things that was said about her around the internet. She talked about the song. She talked about the 4C hair. She talked about the chat rooms. And she even talked about, um, I think, dating white men. So there was, like I said, there was different clips, but they were like chopped up in a way to which is like, okay, so what did she really say? Like, it really makes you mad when you go to blogs and they chop it up. So I'm just going to play it in its entirety and we're going to see it. You've probably seen clips, but we're just going to watch the whole thing and we're going to see what sis has to say about the other stuff. In no way am I excusing her. It is what it is. She did what she did. If you feel a way about it, feel a way about it. I'm not going to take that from you. I'm just not going to act like I'm just, you know, outraged like other people are pretending because it's popular to do so. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So I already know my video is not going to perform as a bandwagon video. So, but I'm still going to have a voice and that's just me. That's just that. Um, so let's pull this up. Okay. So this is her right here and, um, let's see what she has to say. I'm going to end it there. Um, it's like nine, this is 23 minutes in of a, so it's like five minutes left. Um, she don't care about being number one. And now because of this backlash, she has been knocked down to number two. And um, uh, Meg Thee Stallion and Beyonce are now number one today. That's all. Blah, blah, blah. Um, again, I'm not about to act like I'm fake outraged. I, like, I'm just having fun with her live. It was funny. Some of the part, some of the points was funny because I would have been telling y'all motherfuckers. First of all, stop acting like, see, Doja, let me tell you how you were supposed to address this shit. And I'm not even editing this video. It is what it is. Whoever mad, they mad. Whatever it is, what it is, what it is. Doja, I would have been like, first of all, first bullet point, because that's the first thing she said was the 4C here. First of all, stop acting like, stop acting like you ain't never had a frustrating moment with your hair because you're lying if you have 4C hair and you trying to act like it's all lily swirls and sprinkles, sprinkles and rainbows. Now, our hair is what makes us special. You know, this is our crown, honey. But I'm not going to front. And I do get compliments about my hair because I have a beautiful mane. I have a beautiful head of hair. 
but I have been frustrated with my hair and you're a liar if you act like you wasn't. Second bullet point. What was the second bullet point? The didn't do nothing. No, I'm not even gonna go there because I, I, I didn't see how it was related to Sandra Bland. I would have been like, fuck out of here trying to twist my words. Nobody said nothing about police brutality or Sandra Bland. You guys are liars. And you just trying to do like, I'm like, y'all just trying to, Y'all just trying to have some content or something. I don't know. All right, so third bullet point. I'm going to skip over that one. White men. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here acting like it's a problem for me to date a white man when half the NFL, half the NBA, half of baseball, half of, well, it's not, it's, it was black people in baseball. Half of them people, they all date. Outside, they race. But because it's me, because I'm a woman, and because, and more so importantly, not just that, I would have, I, I, not just, I, I would have, like, because I'm a black, I, I would have played the black card right there. Because I'm a black woman, but more importantly, I'm a biracial woman. I have a white side and a black side. And I hang out with, my white side. That's I didn't I didn't have my dad. I would have played the I didn't have my dad role right there. For real. I didn't have my dad. Like black guys wasn't around. Like I didn't go to school where black guys was. So I dated white guys. That's who I've been dating and that's what it is. So fuck out of here. If you don't got a problem with X, Y, Z, uh three, one, two, and motherfucking three when they date white girls, don't have a problem with me. Fuck out of here. What was her next point? I don't know. I could have helped her out a little bit. I'm, I'm, uh, and again, I'm not about to say, I don't, do I think that she's going to be canceled? No. Do I think that this made it better? No. Um, <clears throat> I think, I think, you know, if she would have just left it at the edited, um, PR thing, you know, it, you know, we, the main hiccup we had with that was girl, don't try to claim black now when you ain't been claiming it. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny. I'm not editing this. It is what it is. This is a one take um, thing. And, you know, it is what it is. I really don't know what to say. This is, it's, it is what it is. If you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now. Um, many of your faves will hop on a bandwagon and they will look and scan the comments and read how you guys are reacting and they'll react that way. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to react how I react, period. Um, whether my views are going to be lower because of it or not, I just, you, you're going to get me. <laughs> you're not going to get bandwagon over here. Um, so make sure to hit the subscribe button if that's what you like. Um, if not, then, you know, go to the herd. <laughs> um, uh, what else? Um, yeah, but I mean, support who you want to support at the end of the day. Jo Doja don't really fuck with black people like that. Let's like, we're just going to be honest about it. She don't really fuck with black people like that. And if you don't want to support somebody who does not really fuck with black people and only fucking with black people at their benefit, then Doja is somebody that you should definitely not support. Me, I wasn't in support of her in the beginning. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's. To me, it's neither here nor there in this situation. Um, but if that's something that you cannot stand behind, don't stand behind it. Don't don't wait for your favorite content creator to tell you that this person is canceled, and then when you know you're you're acting like oh you're so outraged, but then you're really still supporting her. Support who you feel like. If you feel like you know you want to support her, then support her. If you don't, then don't. Period. Um, cancel culture. I feel like we are not even her main audience. I feel like we helped her get to the next stepping stone as black people, but I feel like her main core appeal was white people from the start. That moo cow when she made that, you think she was making that for us? No, she was appealing to white people. Her main audience is the people who she surrounds herself around. That is what she is identifying with. And I feel like she's just going to go back to that. I'm surprised she didn't have an afro on her live. I would I would have I would have had the afro going and everything. 
But then we would have definitely called her out on it. So maybe that's good that she didn't do it. Because I would have been like, girl, don't try to come out here with that. <laughs> but um, that's all for this video. Um, let me know what else you guys want me to react to. If you guys want uh, me to react to something. And let me know what other stories you'd like me to cover. With that being said, oh, the girls is looking nice today. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me see who I could FaceTime. What little, I need, to, I, I, I need to pull out my little black book while the girls is sitting nice like this and make a few phone calls. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, nah, all right, peace, y'all.